Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video of Prompt Engineering course, where in this video we'll be discussing about reverse prompting. So before starting this video, let me just demonstrate this lab to you guys real quickly. So we'll be using text this time, or you can say any piece of writing to get output from chat GPT in a very effective way to get prompts of that writing. So this time we won't be using prompt, we'll be using text instead, and we'll be asking chat GPT to give us prompts for that. And also be applying prompt engineering techniques to improve our output as well always so before diving into our lab uh, let me just first of all brief you guys about like what is basically reverse prompting is so seeing the definition reverse prompt engineering is the process of creating a prompt from a given text or code which i just told you guys about and this framework uh, also offers incredible insights into how to effectively reverse engineer any piece of content so if I can tell you guys once again, this is basically a very useful technique or method you can say in which now, uh, as you guys seen previously, we use like different prompts to get, you know, different kind of output uh, depending upon the scenario or situation. We asked ChatGPT, you know, about different techniques, different advices, different situations, like we give all kind of situations to ChatGPT before. But now this time we are doing something which is entirely different from our previous processes. So we are this time picking up any type of, you can say text or context from internet and we'll be giving it to chat gpt and we'll be asking it like what types of prompt or what prompt should it have to get the exact output out of which we are putting it right now so this is basically just kind of a reverse process so yeah like all the techniques or types this one also has a prompt formula if you're not going to put like these formulas obviously there will be some errors in the in the output so i suggest you guys to use this exact formula if you want the exact output that i'll be showing you guys today so yeah that is basically our today's example i picked out this text or you can see a kind of an article from internet about apple airpods and their features all telling me so yeah i'll i'll give chat gpt the same exact output as my prompt this time and i will demand chat gpt to give me the prompts of that and also i'll be proving you guys you know i'll be putting the uh, those prompts at the end once again just to show you guys that it will give me the same exact article or you can say paragraph that we we have put it in the beginning so yeah without any further ado let's just dive right into our chat gpt all right so i'm right here with my chat gpt open so let's just first of all uh, write our first part of the formula it was let's talk about reverse prompt engineering so first of all we'll fetch information about prompt engineering from chat gpt so let's just say what output is going to give it to us Okay, yeah, so as you guys can see, it gave me all the possible information about ChatGPT and it said there are a few of the general approaches as well. So yeah, we're not going to waste any time because we already discussed those. So let's just dive right into our second part of the formula where I'll be asking, can you give me a simple example of reverse prompt engineering? So let's see what example is going to give it to us. All right, yeah, so as you guys can see, just gave us a given uh, text and it says it's reverse prompt engineering will be these, these prompts. And that basically means, you know, if you're going to put these prompts, so you'll get this kind of text, right? So this is exactly what uh, reverse prompt engineering is. So yeah, let's uh, not waste any more time here. And let's move forward to the third part of our formula, where now we'll say, great, uh, can you create a very technical reverse prompt engineering template? So now we're demanding template from ChatGPT. All right, yeah, so now as you guys can see, just gave me a template for the whole reverse prompt engineering technique. So now for the last part of our formula, I'll be inserting my text here and see uh, what kind of reverse prompts it just gave it to us. And we'll also be seeing like whether it's working for us or not. So yeah. All right, yeah, so now I'm done with the last part of our formula along with my text as well, which was about Apple AirPods. Uh, and and its features so yeah let's uh, just hit enter and see what kind of prompts uh, in the form of output is going to give it to us all right so it just gave me a little bit of information it says uh, your given text was this and for that it gave me a reverse prompt and which is this so yeah as you guys can see it's working for now very accurately so let's just copy this reverse prompt that just gave it to us and insert it into the chat gpt input area and see whether it will give me uh, the same text or not so let's just try let's just put it into our new chat 
all right yeah so yeah as you guys can see it's working absolutely fine so with that prompt we were demanding the information about the apple airpods along with its features as well it just gave me an, a little bit of information about the airpod and it's told me about the features like availability of wireless charging uh then we have uh, integration with siri and then we have uh, with uh, using airpods with all devices of breeze and you know it just showed me all the possible features that the airpods have so yeah this is basically reverse prompting does it basically takes your given text or any kind of information that you want chat gpt to you know to reverse it and give it prompts of that text to you instead so yeah that is very uh useful kind of a feature if you can say of chat gpt uh to us so yeah that will be it for the video guys i hope you liked it if you do don't forget to watch more videos on the prompt engineering course and i'll catch you guys in the next one see you bye bye